Hello, I'm Matthew Brady and I'm the Education Outreach and Training Manager for the Center for Energy Education. Today, I'm here to discuss with you the basic science and components that make up the solar industry. The three main types of solar PV collectors are monocrystalline silicate, polycrystalline silicate, and thin film PV, aka amorphous silicon. While between the three of those types of solar PV collectors, there are many differences. Two things they will always have in common is that they are basically made of silicon and they are absolutely harmless to both you and your property. All solar PV panels are essentially made from silicon. In case you didn't know, the building you're in, the ground you walk on, even the computer screen or cell phone you're watching this from, all have the same kind of silicon in them. We commonly know this element as quartz, which is raw crystalline silicate. Crystalline silicate is ground down into gravel and then melted and refined into the panels you have come to know as a solar panel. The makeup of each panel varies, but all crystalline solar panels have these factors in common. They are made up of sheets of positive and negative conductor crystal silicon. This silicon is given a reflective back sheet and topped with the same kind of glass you'll find on your oven door or windshield and all held together with epoxy and a heat treated aluminum frame. Each cell in a solar panel is connected together with solder and a silver wire. As photons from the sun's light pass through the cells within the panel, these photons excite electrons within the silicon, which then travel through the wires inside of the panel, out through wires exiting the panel, and through an inverter, which converts the electricity from direct current to alternating current you use in your homes. This energy is extremely clean and stable, allowing it to be implemented in a variety of locations. They can be installed on your roof, in a field on a ground mount, even above parking lots to provide shade for your parked cars. The benefits of renewable energy are nearly infinite, but one of the most exciting for many is that the solar industry, on its own, is projected to bring more than 4.7 million new jobs to the United States by the year 2025. I hope this information has been useful to you. For more information, please visit us at center4ee.org.